So it had to happen, and it had to happen now. We come to a place and we thought we'll park up here for three or four days, and what happens? The milk went off in the night, so I've got up this morning, no brew. Not happy at all, I don't know about you, or everybody out there, but we need a brew to function in the morning. So there's only one thing for it. We're gonna have to move. Well, good morning after that bombshell this morning. <laughs> But yes, uh, we're just having a look round now and it looks like we've got to go down to Fakenham, I think it's pronounced. Fakenham, 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 yeah. Fakenham. Yeah. I'm sure our friend Adam will correct me because he says I said something wrong the other day. <laughs> Overton, I think I called it, and it's called something else, Averton. Yeah, yeah. I'm rubbish at pronouncing anything, <laughs> everybody knows that. We all know that. Um, so yeah, we need to, there's a Lidl or an Aldi down there. We've got a few bits of shopping we need. We desperately need milk because we haven't got anything. We haven't had a brew um, this morning yet. And it's like, well... Should, should we keep a tin of, uh, you know, a uh, carton of UHT in a cupboard? Oh yeah, great idea. But we've already done that, an mm. emergency one. We had a couple of them and we used them and yeah. then never replaced them. So we paid yeah. the price this morning. No brew. I know. So we're uh, not happy, are we, Bill? Well, no. Boo's happy because Boo's Well, Boo's all right. <laughs> I, I miss having the biscuits. I'm, I'm sound. We've been for a little run out there, but uh, later on it is still forecast high winds. Mm. So um, we might come back here because it was absolutely fine. Nobody bothered us. Peaceful night, wasn't it? Last um, night? One guy stayed fishing till about midnight. Till about midnight, uh, and then nothing. Nobody. Loads of people Until turned up about six o'clock this morning for fishing. A few cars this morning turned up, uh, but it, ten o'clock. It's just gone ten now. You have to pay for parking, so uh, mm -hmm. we'll head off now. Yeah. We might come back later. We might. Or we might go somewhere else inland because it's like very flat here. So we yeah. think we, we, we know what we're doing now, though, don't we? We don't have to head back home. So no, Bluetti. We, we can head south. Um, um, if you remember me telling you, I'm getting a Bluetti fridge freezer. Well, they've they've totally messed that up. They have. And uh, there's big delays on shipping now, apparently. So I was like, well, I'm going away. I told you. So they're like, oh, well, we can't send you one then. So that's gone out the window for now. Mm -hmm. Uh, whether they will when we get back, I don't know. But they've been really, really poor on uh, letting me know things. Mm, on, yeah, yeah keeping in touch. Anyway, so that isn't coming. So for anybody who heard me mention it and think, "Oh, I might be interested in that," it's not coming at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> but the sunshine is, and it's just blinding me straight through there. Yeah. So um, let's pack away. Let's go and get some milk and a few other bits. We we're going low on shopping, but we got stuff to use up. We've got we've got food for another few days yet for meals and but everything. But you can't go without a brew. You can't. You really can't. Not a bad view out, is it? Not bad at all. Not a bad view at all. Got a kite just over there, but it's too far for GoPro to see. Yeah. <clears throat> Quite a few big cars turning up now with people with binoculars. Mm. All looking out of here. I don't know what they're looking for. Must be some rare birds maybe out here. Must be. I was hoping that kite was going to come over here. <laughs> He's over there, he's circling an area, isn't he? That wind's that strong, it's blowing him down wind. Look at this guy's camera next door. Oh, it's only a little lens, that one. <laughs> We've come to Lidl to do our shopping. We just just got back to Van Weir and we're just looking out here, look. The loading bay for Lidl is straight down there and he's got to pull an Arctic through all them spaces to get down there. I mean, trying to stop people parking there and then he's there trying to move everybody it's like who designed this little huh? he's got to pull that arctic from around there from there to get in the delivery bay i think he's got to pull it right crazy these parking spaces. absolutely yeah he's gonna have to pull through here yeah, to back down the ramp the guy yeah never seen that like it in all my life we've been to lots of littles and aldis haven't we and that yeah. is that is a proper design floor yeah look at this i had to pull the arctic between all these cars <laughs> that is absolutely crap as that is yeah. i've never seen anything like this before <laughs> he's managed to get in there but cars have jumped straight in them spots but what a poor design he's just about pulled his bumper off on that kerb 
You can see it all, don't you? Yep. It's you gone cold it. now, that sun's gone in. I know. I don't know who's going to get his lorry back out there, but <laughs> I bet he come. Uh, he must have been here before because he seemed to know. Yeah, they but will do. They'll have, they'll have allocated delivery areas, won't they? Bit of excitement for you there. <laughs> bit of, I've well, seen him come down there, thought, where's he going with that? Got no hope. And then when I saw it loading bell, I was like, wow. Yeah, that ridiculous. Is poorly designed. Anyway, he's managed to get in there. Good driver to get that lorry in there. Right, we've made it to where we think we might stop tonight. Just a little, uh, it's like a picnic -y area. Um, there's benches dog walk there's a cafe back there right on the side of the a11 no special but we're surrounded by wood so hopefully this wind's on its way which well, started now actually so hopefully we shall be um a bit more sheltered down here but i was waiting for him to move and he's just he's just moved forward so let's move forwards a little bit from here oh. So we're not taking the whole place up. <laughs> a lot of trees overhanging all here. Recording started. Because if it's not a brand new motor, I must be like, ooh. I hope Catherine wasn't in the toilet. She's disappeared somewhere. I think she might have gone over to the main toilets, maybe. I'm not sure. <sighs> but I'm ready for a brew. Time to savour the brew. Mm. Oh, I normally have it between 7 and 8. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon now. Huh? I don't even know where the day's gone. No. Well, we did. We go to Lidl, which was quite comical, watching that lorry. Mm. We did call and get some red diesel for the heater as well. Yes. Um, we used all those diesel up for the heater, and there's a place not far from here does red diesel, so I've just been and topped up a drum there. Um, but it's quite in the thick, isn't it, Rose? No, not at all. But... That rain's dripping off at trees, that's an annoying noise, isn't it? Mm. The internet's not bad, it's good enough to run a video. But what you've got to think is... We're sheltered from the wind. Exactly. And when we were driving down this, is it A11? A11 it was yeah. it was absolutely shoving the van. It was really forceful. So I think we'll just have to put up with being here mm. for tonight. And then think about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's yeah, Bank, about... tomorrow's to my bank Holiday. I know. <laughs> we don't be driving around on Bandy Bank Holiday, do no. we? No. Uh, but on the plus side, we don't have to head back north. No. Well, we could do to get rid of the bike and make some room, but uh, uh, I'll have to live on bed with solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> Got the solar panels on the bed. It's like, oh my god. Mm. <laughs> yeah, YouTube being on the move and doing reviews and parcels. Kind of tricky sometimes. Mm. Right, well, we decided to move because the internet was absolutely dire where we were. It was, it, well, it wasn't even dire, dire, it was just non existent. Well, it worked and then it just stopped. Yeah, that was it. And tree, a uh, big pine cone fell on the roof, so I'm like, we're going to put the roof through. And. So right, we just put the diesel heater on to keep us warm as the temperatures drop. So we're now in a car park. We are. We're in the middle of Bury St Edmunds. Bury St Edmunds. And this car park I actually found on Park for Nights, and it's one pound to park in allocated motorhome bays. We've got five bays. One pound from six p.m. till eight p.m. eight a.m. and then three pounds through the day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m., which is proper so cheap. Four quid for so 24 hours. four quid for 24 hours parking and you're legally allowed to be here. One there, space there, space there, we're in one. Mm -hmm. We're a bit long, to be honest, so you can see, but there's a hash bit. That you so, can hang back over. So I've hung over it because we're in the middle. Yeah. If the middle one wasn't available, we wouldn't have been able to park here because we're far too long, we'd have stuck out. Because mm. uh, obviously you've got the road at the front there yeah but apparently this is five minutes walk into the town center five um, minutes to a cathedral to the cathedral and there's pubs and restaurants and five and minutes and to a kebab shop yeah absolutely we might just have to have one more will you yeah <laughs> i'm on a diet ready for my holiday oh yeah mm. remind yourself that then yes i've got the budweiser's <laughs> <laughs> I've got my new t-shirt on as well, look. I know you're probably wondering, have you not washed it yet, but 
Hey, don't worry Fan about washing Fan lifers don't wash new t-shirts. Nah, don't worry, just stick them on. Label off. On. I always wash new, new items before I wear them, always. Yeah, so you can pay online or pay at the machine. It's on the Ringo app here. Yeah, well, I've already got the Ringo app set up for this van on my phone, so it's just dead easy to do. We've got a uh, clothes and shoe recycling. Yeah, I might have to just uh, out a few things while we're here because it's right in front of us. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I know we've got put some them, stuff put them to, to get rid of. Yeah, put them to good use for yeah. other people because yeah. I've got about 15 t shirts and I only wear about five of them. Mm. All the black ones. I like black. I think black suits me. Well, you like me, me, I like black. Makes me look a bit slimmer. <laughs> That's why I like black. <laughs> mm. We must be sheltered from wind here because I can't really feel a lot. I can't, I keep feeling a little bit, but nothing much. Look at that thing in the sky, look. I know. Got some Can sunshine. One minute it's really dark and I'm putting lights on, next minute the sun's out and I'm switching everything off. We don't need any solar because we're full up. <laughs> <laughs> full up, Zach. Like, mm. Full to the brim. Yay! Catherine has bought herself a dish for the oven yeah i just I, I like to cook things which she one, thinks we haven't got enough in this van we haven't but everybody will know when my you, noodle pot yet i know you haven't but to, to do get off it's actually great all that mm. for me it's just what's the red bit you do need an, Is that your fingers yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do need a decent mm. onion uh, onion oven pot I've got ingredients on the brain. Yeah, it's Catherine's turn to cook tonight. Her back's feeling better, so. It is. Mind you, I did sleep really flat last night. I told I you it was helped. catching. I know. It was catching the back. Oh, seems nice and peaceful there. Eh? Plenty of people coming and going from mm. the from the jobs by the looks of it, workers. But there is a cathedral behind the Vauxhall garage over there. There's a. Bury St Edmund's Cathedral. Yeah, might be worth a nice visit, might it? Well, we'll have a go and have a butcher's at that tomorrow, I think. Not for, today. For the sake of four quid for stopping here for 24 hours, it'd mm. be nice to, you know, spend some time and have a wander around. It will, because it'll not be long before we're in Kent. I know. And going, oh God, what do we do now? Yes, <laughs> we're not rushing down to Kent no, at the minute. No, we're certainly not. Because <laughs> normally we rush down there and go, and we'll be sat on the Canterbury Park and ride. Yeah. I don't mind a couple of days on there. No, I don't mind it, but there's a couple of days and there's a couple of days, isn't there? I mean, <laughs> there's a couple of days and a couple of days. There you go, she's down on her knees. I am. <laughs> there we are, look. Oh, it smells good. Ready for this, it's like six o'clock at night. I know, it smells good though, that. Well, it's almost a bit different, isn't it? Chicken, bacon, potato no, bacon. It smells good to you, <coughs> yes, it does. That was the right answer. A kebab would smell better. <laughs> well, it's just somewhat better than chips. Yeah, and I've chopped some chopped potato in, just very the, finely chopped. It's the chips, everything you cook's with chips. No, it isn't. <laughs> You're going to get a slap in a minute. That's why I'm backed away, so yeah, you can reach me. Too right. What have we got in there? More potatoes. Yeah, because I only did some very small, finely like diced potatoes to go in that. So I've done some extra, a few extra, and I've mm. used the green beans that we've got left in the fridge as well. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. And uh, we're in a bit of a mad panic rush this morning because we promised Zach a McDonald's breakfast and we've been too busy gassing. Since we don't have one, in, we haven't had one in a really long time. It's only round the corner. Well six minute walk i think it is yeah. so we're against the clock to get to mcdonald's this morning but Hello. it wasn't too bad here last night was it no it was all right it was very very peaceful till late on we heard some people walking past i Just think, some, I the think they come out of the pub haven't they yeah i think they come out of the pub but uh, yeah we've been joined by a couple of other vans this one here look it's like a big zebra i can honestly say this is the coolest motorhome camper van you'll ever see I always wanted one of these. Look at this bad boy. So there's a couple of subscribers uh, come to join us for the day, the evening. But uh, to start with, we need to come and get Zach his McDonald's. But yeah, it's got a lovely T5 Carmen motorhome. We've just been inside it, haven't we? Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely. It's really like the TARDIS nice. inside. It's like the TARDIS. You walk in, it's like, wow, there's so much space. But yes, time is ticking away. Fingers. So just here part there we've got a toilet block so if you haven't got a toilet in your van there is toilets to use here they do then, get shuttered down at night though yes they are shut at night and around this end there is a tap oh yeah that's where it is 
that's how you can fill your van with water. Now it's a bit windy this morning so I'm not sure how much filming we're going to be doing because it's been playing up a bit. Wow it was so windy back there isn't it? <laughs> Starting to spit with rain, must be a chip shop or something isn't it? Yeah. Or a restaurant, you can smell food. Farmers Club, yes. We're doing Google Maps. Very, very windy. Gosh, Ooh. it's super windy. The wind seemed to calm down last night. It did, we weren't too bad there. It was reasonably well sheltered. Yeah. We was quite lucky um, coming and parking there. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, I think that was a good find, wasn't it, by me? Mm. And obviously the car park's a lot empty this morning. It being bank holiday, I presume they're all workers. They look like it because it. There was a lot of cars that's coming and going there overnight, so mm. I presume they're like local residents. I would think. Could be because it's. I think it's nine quid for the whole week. Seven, I think. Yeah, the um, subscribers next to us. He's just paid for the whole week. Oh right. He said it was nine pound. I think. Oh, okay. Well, nine pound right. forty. So you can oh. stop the whole week. Oh. That's pretty good. It is good. It is really good that. Just walking through these streets looking for McDonald's and you think, oh there must be nowhere near McDonald's. Yeah. And it's, it's, right and it's there, <laughs> in that building there at the end. Museum, I look now. Yeah. Oh. Parked literally in town where we're parked. Very quiet this morning. Just quiet. Because it's bank holiday or it's still early. It's probably still a little bit early I can this smell morning. Candy floss. I can smell candy floss as well. Now a quick nap at the back so Zach can get his breakfast. <laughs> we'll Easter treat for him. We'll uh, grab the dog and we'll head round to the cathedral. There's big grounds there and everything in there. Mm. We'll just head and have a little mooch around there. Yeah, I didn't realise we were quite so close to town. It's an easy walk, isn't it, really? Yeah, dead easy. Right, we're going to try and get to the cathedral, which you can just see poking up above that house there, mm. over that way. Zach's uh, recharged on McDonald's. Mm. Hmm. Well, you want my hat brown? Oh, I think you can go through this gate into yeah, here. Yeah, that's what it says the cathedral, aren't it? There's a zebra crossing here. And then there's some like big grounds there. Abbey Gardens. That's where we're heading for. There's some good enough down here, look. Got those old balls I can just stick you in it. So there's an Easter event going on behind us, she just told us. Yes, free Easter event today, if we'd like to come and join them. And as Zach's just said, there's some old ruins here. And some more. I want to hold you close, but you know my mind is torn up. I never thought it'd be like this We're like a broken record Cause we all The Great Court in the Middle Ages This area was a huge open courtyard mm. For access to all the working areas of the Abbey People, horses and carts would have been coming and going all day Right here mm. Always mess it up Even though we so we never do that, so here we go Acting like we do, we say things that are not true But somehow I'm still here Large square was the cloister, the heart of the main monastic buildings. From here the monks could access everything they need for their daily lives but stay separated from the outside world.
up at the Garden of Remem Remembrance yeah, got some for the soldiers and their families. There's a metal bench there from the US Air Force. Mm -hmm. yeah, another one for the Commonwealth soldiers. It's like in the member garden, and then we've got another one over here. Yeah, another American one there, look. Yeah. In that beautiful cathedral. Cathedral and the grounds, oh, Abbey Gardens, and that beautiful, yeah, absolutely beautiful place. Yeah, a little free Easter event as well, free coffee. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're just going to go back to the van now, aren't we? It's looking yeah, it's a, a bit grey. <laughs> Wait, race for the toilet as well. Looks like Vauxhall's open on a Saturday as well. It's Friday. Come, come by a car for Friday. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. It's bank holiday anyway. It is. That's what I meant to say. It's open on a bank holiday. Yeah. Obviously people still want to buy cars. Yeah. In fact some people can't come out until it's bank holiday to buy a car. <laughs> Can they? No. It's just starting to rain now. But literally what three or four minute walk? Yeah. And we're back. Yeah. Absolutely perfect location. It oh. is. It's, so if you want to come here, yeah. Well worth coming. Yeah. You just walk out, there's a small Vauxhall dealership and then you can just see the you, the, yeah. you see the cathedral grounds wall. Yeah. And the Abbey grounds. That's it. Just around the corner. Yeah. Right, let's get in before it chucks yes. it down anymore. Mm. Ah. Right, kettle on. Kettle time, is it? Yep. Kettle time and a bit of a sort out. We've got that power bank to get out and yeah. to come under there and try and shuffle a bit of stuff around and it to hopefully it's not going to rain too much. Just come and have a look at my bed. <laughs> oh, our bed. We've got a big power bank there. Solar panels, fridge, drone. I know. <laughs> the joys. I know. We choose to have all this stuff though. Yep. We're just showing you how we live, really. I'll have a brew, please. I know you'll have a coffee. I'll have a coffee. You want a tea? Zach's going to get set up and do a bit of gaming, aren't you? I might. I might not. Maybe not yet. Not maybe yet. later. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe in like an hour or half an hour. <laughs> I thought you meant like that. Or like half a minute. Are you all right? <laughs> We've got some subscribers next door, and I've got a feeling it could be a little bit messy because he said I'd be here later. <laughs> yeah, but you want to talk. You want to go. And I don't chat, think yeah. it'll be one beer. <laughs> so good job we've got some Budweisers in stock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So need to sort the internet situation out, make sure that's fast enough for you, Zach. If yeah. not, we'll get a Starlink out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Check the battery condition, that's another job. I'm just looking at the van. <laughs> call Zach Zebra. He's looking for an in game name. No yeah. idea, darling. I yeah. said Officer Dribble, he said he couldn't have that. No. Tea and biscuits for dinner. Mm -hmm. mm. Somebody's mm. snuggled right up next to me because he knows we've got a brew on the table. Mmm. Nice brew mm. before beer o'clock. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's a bit hot at the minute. I think mm. I'll have another biscuit. Another biscuit to go with that. I don't mind them ones from Lidl or Aldi. Mm. Chocolate biscuits. Who's up here, boo? So I want to thank Steve and Joanne Kavanagh for the coffees this week. That was very much appreciated of you. And also there's a bit of money in there for Zach for some sweets. Oh, that's very kind. So thank you very much, guys. Oh, I love a good brew. 
Mm. So does Boo. So does Boo. He's still waiting. He's still waiting He's patiently. Still waiting. So we've got a few yeah. shout outs, thank you. We yous. have birthdays and yeah, we've just got a few. Uh, we've got Kathleen Woff's uh, 29th birthday on March 30th. 29? I wish I were 29. I know, oh, to be young again. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, we've got Carl Hughes, uh, 51st on the 7th of April. Happy birthday, Carl. Uh, he's a Newark trucker, so he's local to us. A Newark trucker, not uh, far Newark, from where yep, we're from. Not far from us. And Anne Marie Bell, it's your 50th on the 10th of April. Big 501. Yep, so happy birthday happy to birthday. those. And just a little thank you um, to Dean from his wife Kelly. Um, Kelly's been through a tough time the last year or so. Um, respect for that tattoo, Dean. Seriously, that's awesome. Um, just wants to say that you're her rock, and thank you so much. Oh, well done, Dean. Yeah, mm. good lad. And you're forgetting the most important one of all. Oh, Zach, go on. You're. I've got a happy birthday for Tyler on the eighth of April. Yep, happy birthday, Tyler. Yeah. Even more important than that one. Oh god, go on. We've got a really big hello to give to a certain special lady sat watching right now. A special lady. A friend of ours, but her lovely, lovely husband has asked me to shout out for Beth. Our, oh god. <laughs> our friend Beth Hill. <laughs> Hi Beth! Hi Beth. Hi. Nobody ever shouts Beth out on YouTube Aww, apparently. So we love you Beth. We all love you Beth. But and, not as, and Ricky but not as much as Beth. Not as much as what Ricky loves you. <laughs> he even said in his message. He didn't actually say love you but it we, like you meant, we know what you meant We know what you meant. We know what you so, meant. So huge hello to Beth Hill from the Hills Explore. Hi Beth. Our lovely lovely friend and if yeah. you don't know who the Hills Explore are they've also got a YouTube channel we met yeah. them in. 2020 and uh, I've always admired Beth because she's very very good at video editing she is very and good and I always very tell thorough. her how good she is very mm. very thorough and uh, two genuine lovely lovely people yeah. so this is a shout out for you Beth yes hope yeah. to see you at some point this year yes. lovely to catch up we will catch up at one of the shows no doubt yeah but yeah we get a bit of sunshine well, now I'm, get, I'm getting blinded through the <laughs> <laughs> through the roof light. It's, no, it's, it's reflecting off of his cars. It's coming bit, through there. Oh, it's, yeah. reflecting, oh, yeah. it's reflecting off the big zebra next to us. Yeah, I'm not I'm not complaining though, because no. the sun's out, but I've just Solar. got to shut my eyes. <laughs> I think I need a shave as well before I go around next door. I can't if, remember if I sit like that, it's out my face. Look, I love their Volkswagen. That's that It's gorgeous, isn't it? That's what I've always wanted, something like that. But There's the so T4 much room one. In it. It's unbelievable. Oh they are, they are. Mm. Um I, would, I always fancied the T4 Carmen motorhome. Mm. They're very rare, you don't see them about much. Well, that's what they were saying, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it actually looks reasonably new from the outside, but it's 18 year old. So. Yeah, you won't think it to look at it. No. Very it, well looked after. Been well, well looked after that has. Mm. I'm going to go admire it a bit more in mm. a bit. I can see it rocking about, so they must be back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is uh, we're going to spend another night here in this car park. Mm. It's not special, this car park. But, but it's not, but it's in a lovely area, isn't it, with it, everything to look at. It is a lovely area, it seems very peaceful. There's a market on tomorrow as well I'd quite like to go to. I not, like markets. not heard no boy racers, we're no. going to look around on Google for where to go uh, probably tomorrow. Mm. We'll be looking at places like Sudbury because we're heading south now. Mm. Uh, because the ferry is in less than a week now. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, yeah. Uh, looking at the port of Dover at the minute for bank holiday, I don't want to be in them queues. Wow, those queues! Because of the big winds yesterday, big yeah. queues. Obviously, it'll, when you watch this, it'll have been a long be while back, ago. Ev mm. Well, no, everybody will be, be back at yeah. work now. Yeah, they will. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> this is going out on Tuesday after the bank holiday. Ah, right. This okay. is the start of the bank holiday for us. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. This is Friday. Yeah. This is Good Friday. Yeah. So we're going to go around there in a minute and mm -hmm. probably be talking all day. So there won't yeah. be any more filming today. <laughs> we've got enough footage to be fair. Yeah, from what walking a beautiful around place beautiful we've just walked set. around. Yeah. It, if you're ever out this area, definitely come it, and give it a visit. Yeah, with it being so cheap to park, and it's literally like a couple of minutes walk. It's not far at all. Yeah, and it's, it's stunning. It is. So we're going to thank each and every one of you for watching. Mm. All the new subscribers, all the people that send us the lovely, lovely comments, mm -hmm. and all the all the subscribers that have been with us for a long, long time as well. Yes, some of you subscribers have been with us for quite a few years. Mm. 
so you know it's really nice for the people that have stuck around it's always nice like the guys next door what she does from since spain mm -hmm. it's nice to meet new subscribers as yeah. well so thank you all thanks for watching and as always we'll see you in the next one